The male gaze in cinema today has transformed past what many may think it could have been. Cinematic choices that create the male gaze objectify female characters more than the words or actions of characters within a scene. The angle of a camera or the lighting in a scene can affect the stylistic symbolism of a character and needs to be altered in order to portray a more accurate representation of women in 2021. First, let's start off with the definition of what the male gaze is and how it is defined within cinema. The concept of the male gaze was popularized by film critic Laura Mulvaney in 1975. This theory states that the male gaze is the act of depicting women in the world in the visual arts and in literature from the masculine heterosexual perspective that presents and represents women as solely sexual objects for the pleasure of the heterosexual male viewer. Ultimately, Mulvaney argues that the woman is more commonly seen as the object rather than the subject of an activity in film. Now that we have a background on the history and the theories behind male gaze, let's take a look at three examples in which male gaze is not only told through dialogue, but through camera and lighting work as well. Firstly, we're going to take a look at the Disney Channel hit movie, High School Musical 3. Although this isn't per se as serious or critically acclaimed as some of the other films mentioned, it is a serious effect on the way that young women and girls see themselves in film. The character Sharpay Evans, from the previous two films, is stereotyped as a popular, blonde, ambitious female antagonist who will do everything it takes to get to the top of her craft, which is musical theater. The first thing that we see Sharpay Evans in in High School Musical 3 is the way she is walking into school as the camera pans from her feet to her waist all the way up to her face. There are many shots of her butt walking through the hallway, attracting comments and reactions from teenage boys around. The height of the camera is set up in the scene to follow Sharpay through the hallway, highlighting certain parts of her body in a shot and sexualizing them. The camera focuses on her body and reacts to her body, rather than the environment that she is in. Storytelling is told through the camera movements and through the reactions of other characters. The audience is being told that Sharpay should be seen as an object, something to be looked at and observed, implementing the male gaze onto its viewers at a very young age. In the Marvel franchise, Black Widow could on the surface level be interpreted as a strong female character. She's independent, a fierce fighter, and holds her own within the Marvel Universe. However, the costuming and presentation of Scarlett Johansson's Black Widow sexualizes her more than it empowers her. In many battle scenes, Black Widow was seen in her traditional skin-tight black leotard, overtly sexualizing her character when not needed, in order to make the experience of watching Marvel mo movies, which are traditionally majority male audience, more enjoyable for the heterosexual man's fantasy. Costume design, a key aspect of cinematography and art design for film, enhances the stereotype of limiting a female character. If a female character is strong, then she must also be overtly sexualized. And because she is perceived as a leader, the objectification is largely ignored. While the effects of male gaze may not affect how Black Widow performs throughout the Marvel movies, it affects how the audience perceives and tokenizes her. <laughs> Lastly, the film Spring Breakers plays heavily into tropes and stereotypes about women in cinema. Spring Breakers follows a group of four college students on their wild vacation on their spring vacation. They end up intertwined with a local drug dealer named Alien, helping him deal and commit other crimes. In the first half an hour of the film, we see women being sexualized left and right on the beach, in party settings, definitely setting the tone for the environment surrounding the spring break culture. 
This does make sense thematically, but also further pushes the stereotypes surrounding male gaze and the effects that it has on society. In this scene, the three remaining girls greet Alien at the piano, wearing pink ski masks, pink one pieces, and are dancing a ballet to Every Time by Britney Spears. A montage follows, showing the three girls an alien robbing and dealing, combined with the dance sequence of the girls by the pool. The dance sequence section is lit to be pink and warm, highlighting femininity. This is an obvious fantasy sequence and offers us an interesting critique on the male gaze. This shows us how Alien has internalized this male gaze, and the cinematographers are offering us a perspective into that. While the girls are outwardly shown as these bubbly, careless party girls, the reality shows how they have become part of this organized crime ring. It shows how the male gaze in reality can differ immensely. Every time I try. 